In these problems, we're starting to do some real live algebra. And what we have in these problems is we have a variable, x, that's our unknown, that's the thing we want to solve for, and then it's got some number added or subtracted to it, an equal sign, and then some number over here. The trick that you want to do when you solve for x is to get x all alone on one side of the equal sign. So we're going to want it over here on the left. What that leaves is this plus 4. So how do we get rid of that? Well, you get rid of things by doing the opposite. So if this is plus 4, the opposite would be minus 4. So that's the first step, do the opposite. But the rules of algebra say whatever you do to one side of the equal side, you have to do to the other side of the equal side. So we're going to equal sign. So we're going to subtract 4 from that side too. Now, let's actually do the math. Well, 4 minus 4, that becomes 0. We're not even going to write that. So it's sort of like they just cancel each other out, and it just leaves x. Here, 7.6, well, we've got our equal sign. 7.6 minus 4 is 3.6. And there we go. We've solved for x. x equals 3.6. Let's try another one. This one looks a little bit harder, but it's not really. It's the same setup. You have a variable that you want to solve for, x. You have some other number here, and then an equal sign and another number over there. We want to get rid of this. Now, this is a minus 2 ninths. You always do the opposite. So, while in the last one we subtracted, this one we want to add 2 ninths. The reason we add 2 ninths is because it's a negative 2 ninths we have up here. And when, then we have to do the same thing to both sides. So, a negative 2 ninths plus 2 ninths, well, that's just 0. So that leaves x all alone, which is what we want. And now we have 5 ninths plus 2 ninths. Well, they're same denominator, so we just add the 5 and the 2, and that is 7 ninths. And that's our answer. We've solved for x. All right, we've got one more here. This is x plus 2 and a third equals 5. So here's our non-x term. And since this is a plus 2 and a third, we want to subtract 2 and 1 third. But we have to do it from both sides. And that leaves just x over here. These come out to 0. And now over here we've got 5 minus 2 and 1 third. That might be tricky. I would do it in two steps. I would say 5 minus 2 is 3. And 3 minus 1 third, well, you can think of that as having a 2 left over. And then 1 minus 1 third would be two-thirds. You could also try that in a different way. You could have said five, let's convert that to thirds, multiply by three, we get fifteen-thirds minus, and let's convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. Two times three would be six plus one is seven, so that's seven-thirds. That would equal eight-thirds, fifteen, oops, fifteen-thirds minus seven-thirds equals eight-thirds. And 8, let's see, there's 2 and 2 left over. That would be 2 and 2 thirds. Either way you do it, it comes out to be the same. So that is how to solve for x.